Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Man. Seriously? Do you have any sevens? No. There's got to be a better way to settle this. So how was vacation? It was great, man. Awesome job on that Santa Fe video, by the way. That looks like a great car. Yeah, I'm actually thinking about buying one for my wife. Really? Yeah. How about I sell you a CX-90? <laughs> Why would I buy that car? I think it's the best three-row SUV. No, no. Watch the video, and then we'll talk. I think I can prove you wrong. Hmm. Listen, Dennis, I love the design of the new Santa Fe, but you can't argue that this is just a bit more timeless and refined. <sighs> I don't know, man. I think it's just too big. I hear you, but it's actually a lot easier to maneuver both on the road and in parking lots than you think. Uh, maybe you can convince me otherwise, but I'm just not there yet. I'll be happy to show you everything. Okay, let's see. Starting with the exterior, this is Mazda blowing up their Kodo design to give you a big, beautiful car. What's Kodo design? Kodo is Mazda's design language. It stands for Soul of Motion, and you'll see it carry through the whole lineup. Hmm, interesting, okay. Hey, I'm noticing this inline badge here. What does that mean? Inline six, I'm glad you asked. They actually offer this in two, three different powertrain options, hmm. depending on how you see it. The inline six is offered in two different tuning configurations. One has a little bit more power. The other one is, and by the way, this is a mild hybrid. The okay. other one's a plug-in hybrid. Gotcha. And you can get 26 miles of electric only range, but 480 combined. Wow, that's impressive. I like that. Okay, so far so good. What's powering this? A 2.5 four-cylinder turbocharged engine offering 277 horses, and I bet it can hold its own. <laughs> well, you can show me later. Yeah. Do you have any hybrid options? Yes, it's not a plug-in, but it is more fuel efficient than your Mazda. All right. Omar, you gotta admit, this looks a lot more adventurous than just boxy, rugged looking, right? And did you know that this thing can accommodate a rooftop tent? Can your Mazda do that? Yeah, but you might not need to because we've got enough cargo space. Let me okay, show you. Okay, let's check that out. I've got 15 cubic feet behind the third row, 40 behind the second row, and 75 cubic feet with both holding down. Hmm. Actually, I think I have a beat. Check this out. 14, 40, and 80, and wider opening so I can slide things in and out. Touche. How's your tailgate test though? Oh, it's fantastic. This is more comfortable, but not as comfortable to stand under. See? Fair point. You wanna show me the inside? Let's do it. How's that third row? A little tight, but it's not bad. You've got rear AC controls? Yes, sir. Plus a USB-C and a power outlet. Wow. Well, does this recline? It does. Ha! <laughs> How's the second row? Pretty good. Nice yeah. and spacious. Yeah, and check this out. This reclines a whole bunch. I love these cup holders on the door. Yeah, and check this out. You can open the center console from the back seat. Can your Mazda do that? No. That's what I thought. How's it feel? Better than I expected. Talk to me about this interior. Yeah, so what I love is the outside is very rugged, adventurous, but when you hop in the inside, it doesn't even feel like you're in a Hyundai. It's very modern, very sleek, very updated and techy. Yeah, very clean. Speaking of clean, is this your sanitation station? It is. Put your keys, your phone, whatever, close the lid, push the UVC button, and your stuff will sterilize in about 10 minutes. Wow. Gotta admit, I'm a little jealous of that one. Can I show you the CX-90 now? Let's do it. I hope you brought your slippers. I did not bring my slippers, but geez, I mean, should I take my shoes off? Maybe. This is pretty fancy. <laughs> Before you hop in the third row, I just want to show you that the second row is a lot like the first row, thanks to this fancy center console. And you've got climate control right here in the back with heated seats and cooled seats for that second row. Very nice. Now hop in the third. All right. How you doing back there, tall boy? You know what? I can fit, but I don't like that. I don't have any room for my feet versus the Santa Fe had had more space back here. Yeah, I will say the Santa Fe was a little easier on the feet. This works for me though, and I'd really be saving it for the kids. Gotcha, I understand. But hey, can I recline this thing? No. Oh man, I'm ready to go back to the Santa Fe. How about we just move you to the second row? All right. This you can recline. Very nice. Comfortable. Yeah, and I told you about the heated and cooled seats for the second row. Right. I noticed you've got a dual moonroof. This one's panoramic in this case. Yeah, you know, I prefer the dual, but this is nice. But you know what I'm noticing is I'm loving the suede on the seats. The color is very nice, and I like the center console. It gives it a premium feel. Definitely. Yeah. So, first time in a CX-90, give me your honest thoughts. You know, overall, I really like it. I'm loving this Alcantara dual color combo on the dash. It feels premium. It feels nice being in here. 
yeah mazda really focuses on giving you more premium materials to provide a more artfully designed interior i love it i can feel it is this touchscreen no mazda does that on purpose they don't want you taking away from your steering input plus i don't like fingerprints on there but they give you this commander switch so that you can control everything from a more ergonomic position huh can we drive it? Uh, no, this one's actually already uh, sold to our friends Joe and Tori. Thank you so much for letting us borrow this. But I'll be happy to help you with a test drive at Tustin Mazda, or we can help you at Huntington Beach Mazda. And if you're interested in test driving a Santa Fe, come see me, Dennis, at Tustin Hyundai. You know what, Omar? Overall, I really like the Mazda. It's sleek, it's curvy, and it's just a sexy looking car. And I gotta admit, this Santa Fe impressed me a lot more than I expected it to. Yeah. But which one's the winner? You know what? I think it really depends on the consumer's lifestyle, but it could be a bit of a tie. You want to rock, paper, scissors for Let's it? Let's do it.